welcome to my film and TV channel. Today we're going to have a look at uh, a BBC comic crime thriller. Yeah, it's been showing on BBC. It's not quite finished as I'm recording this, but it's all on iPlayer now, so I've been able to catch up with this one. You know me and my binge watching. And it's called The Outlaws, also known as The Offenders, obviously, depending which territory you're in around the world. Obviously, it's not called The Outlaws uh, outside of the UK in some, some areas. Uh, it's available from BBC one from the 18th of October to the 22nd of November 2021. And as I said, now if you go onto BBC iPlayer, you have access to that or some other British streaming service uh, that you can get. It's uh, all episodes are now available on the BBC iPlayer. It was done in six parts, so it's uh, obviously uh, no no need for ads. So you're talking six by what 55 minutes sort of uh, sequences, uh, and it's a crime thriller, comic comedy crime thriller by Stephen Merchant, of course, one of my one of my favourites to be honest with you. And it's also been done in conjunction with Amazon Prime Video, so that's obviously being looked at internationally. So check your Amazon Prime wherever you are for that as well. In uh, January 2021, it was confirmed that they've already done a second series for this, so they've actually done uh, both together. So another one was ordered at the same time, and so uh, they've filmed the series back-to-back, -back. so I'm looking forward to series two of this. And, of course, the story will follow seven strangers, or does follow seven strangers, from different walks of, of life forced together to complete a community payback sentence in Bristol. However, their luck changes, or for some of them anyway, uh, when they discover a bag full of money, unaware that some dangerous people are looking for it. Of course, yeah, they found a bag full of money. It's not going to be left by uh, an old deer somewhere, is it? It's obviously uh, no good, is it? So who have we got in this? Well, obviously the main Hollywood guy is Christopher Walken. Walken. <coughs> Excuse me. He stars as Frank, an American living with his daughter and grandchildren. Of course, we've got Stephen Merchant who wrote this. He stars as Greg, an unsuccessful lawyer. Uh, Rihanna Barreto as Rani, a prospective but kleptomaniacal Oxford applicant. Uh, Gamba Cole as Christian, a young man looking after his younger sister. Darren Boyd as John, a rich businessman. Claire Perkins as Myrna, an activist. And Elena Tomlinson as Lady Gabby, a socialite and influencer. And keeping them all in line and uh, under control is Jessica Gunning as Diana the supervisor for community services was obviously looking after this motley crew. What does it do? Well, it's at the 16th of November uh, 2021 at 3pm. Internet movie database, 7.9 out of 10. So that's not bad, is it? That's 1,962. Yeah, but the proviso on this is there's uh, a lot of 10 out of 10s. Now, I'm sorry, obviously, the team that's put this together. I, mean, I think a lot of people have gone on and scored it 10 out of 10. Uh, connected with the program because it, it is i do like it i'll tell you that now i do like it a lot but it's not a 10 out of 10 so there are 532 with that 1900 uh have scored it 10 out of 10 so there's something a sort of concerted effort i think in there but you know far for me to be yeah, some, some 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 say some people are sort of cheating a little bit but there you go so i've ignored that i've ignored 532 of the votes but it still leaves a healthy 1277 scoring this anywhere between six and nine out of ten if i was promoting something i'd tell my followers to do eight or nine out of tens i won't tell them to do ten out of ten although it does put push the average up obviously so yeah 1277 have scored it six out of ten or more that's 92 percent of the of the rest of the scores we've got 106 between two and five i've ignored the ones as well for balance but there wasn't many one out of tens anyway and the episodes themselves yeah interesting scores um episode one is the lowest scoring of all the episodes. And I thought episode one was the, probably the funniest as you get to know the characters and the merchants' writing, to be honest with you. But uh, that's just me. Episode one scored 7.7. .7. Episode two, 8.1. Episode three scored 7.8. Episode four scored 8.2. Episode five, 8.6. And episode six, 8.9. So, yeah, I honestly, I honestly again thought that the uh, last episode was probably one of the weakest of the six, to be honest with you. So that leads you on to my thoughts, doesn't it? I mean, this is a, this is this is just as good weekly as it is a binge watch. As I say, I do watch a lot of TV and films, etc. So I always prefer to binge watch something because obviously, in the space of a week, I can watch quite a lot of stuff and I forget things. So that's always my preference. But I think this is pretty good either way, whether you whether you uh, watch it weekly or binge watch. 
and it did appeal to my sense of humour. Stephen Merchant appeals to my sense of humour. His writing just hits my chuckle muscle, if you like. I don't have any doubts about that. So, obviously, when I, I knew he'd written this, obviously, I thought, well, this is going to be a winner because he's, he's, my, he's my sort of sense of humour. Uh, and so that's a win for me on the writing front. And a fun watch, I'd expect. There's a darker side to it, of course, uh, obviously, with uh, uh, dodgy money knocking about. There's bound to be, isn't it? But uh, this, this was all, I mean, it was all good. It all added to this sort of gallows humour type thing in it as well. And I saw, although I did sort of thing this dark side, this gangster type, uh, side of this thing did, did run out a little bit of steam towards the end of the series i invested in most of the characters uh one or two were a little annoying uh Myrna and john I'm not mentioning names but throughout it all merchants uh, characters uh, sort of stand out and his style of comedy sort of kept me entertained uh, throughout the six episodes as i said certainly one to five not quite as good episode six but uh, as it drew to conclusion he lost a little bit of that off-the-wall humour. Uh, I also enjoyed, obviously, the other actors there, uh, Walker, Tomlinson, and Gooding, especially in their, in, in their respective roles. So, overall, an excellent cast. And the, the backstories as well. You get backstories told through flashback. Uh, were told at different stages of the series, and it, they were all placed very well within the series as well. They were, you didn't get it all in the first one or two episodes. You got it throughout the episodes. So I think it was very, very clever and well done. Uh, and I, I did enjoy that side of it with the flashbacks. There was no, there was nothing to say. This is six years ago, but you, you know, two years ago, a year ago, whatever. It, but you soon sussed out what it was when, when it sort of appeared on the screen. So that was a good watch. Anyway, I don't think they did. I mean, I got used to them and ignored anything that was any text on the screen. But I'm fairly sure there was no text. But that might be just be my brain getting adult. You know, I'm getting old. Uh, as I said, I wasn't overly impressed with the ending. It all seemed a little bit uh, anticlimactic for me, which is a shame. But uh, there you go. Overall, it didn't didn't ru ruin the overall thing, and it was well packaged. It was a well packaged ending, so it's just my it wasn't just my idea of a of a perfect ending. That in all fairness, I'm just sorry about the throat. There, just had a, a, a shortbread biscuit, and I sort of need a drink, and I didn't have a drink. Silly me, but uh, my apologies. So there you go. But obviously, as far as the episode scores concerned, a lot of people like the last episode, so I've really got the highest mark. So, so who am I? Who am I to disagree with that? So it is a great little series for me. I hope you get out to watch it. Let me know what you think as well. So I am going to score it pretty high for me. Uh, it probably would have might, it might have stretched to an 8 if I wasn't as disappointed with the ending. But I'm going to give it a good solid 7.5 out of 10 anyway because I thought it was excellent. So I'm a little bit down on the Internet Movie Database at 7.9, but... Uh, as I say, I think that's it. For, for me, you know, I'm a bit mean with my scores anyway. I think 7.5 is perfect. So get get a watch if you're watching it weekly. Uh, get to the end of it and let, let me know what you think. Let me know if you thought, thought the ending was a little bit disappointing compared to the rest of the series. But hey, that's it's all opinions, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching. What are we going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we'll meet here again on the film and TV channel. I'll perhaps have a look at my Citizen channel, my football channel, or my team Manchester City. Yeah, on there or back here, it doesn't matter where. Until we meet again, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.